Okay. Um, Daryl, well, hard lines. You, uh, you deserve more than that tonight. Yeah, I know, but said that a few times this season. We uh, performance was very good, uh, just not clinical enough and soft goal. And that's the difference why Wigan probably not at the best. Still get a point out of the game. For us, that's probably the reason why we, we fall short of being a top six team. I mean, Sam had a pretty good evening, but well, it doesn't really matter, does it? It's immaterial. At the end of the day, I'm frustrated, man, that we haven't you know, won, won the game, to be honest with you. So I'm certainly not doing cartwheels on, over a good performance in one point. Mm. It's just uh, we've, got to, we've got to narrow those down and, and keep trying to improve and uh, evolve the squad in the right edge of the pitch. But I think it uh, shows tonight what we can do on a, when the grass has grown on a shocking pitch and there's a decent amount of grass on it with a slick surface. We can play some good football. And uh, certainly we did at times, just needed to be a little bit more clinical. I mean, a few, you know, a couple of great saves from the keeper and it would work twice. But uh, no, you know, that's why that's why Wigan, maybe on a good night, still get a point. That's why they're going up and probably the champions. Mm. And that first half in particular was some of the best football, but still not a difficult sort of soggy pitch that I've seen you play for a while. Oh, cause, no, it's not a soggy pitch. There's nothing wrong with the drainage. It's just that uh, the, the sand bands are filled in now and there's actually grass on it. And uh, that certainly helps because we want to we want to try and involve and play football the right way, as people know. Yeah. And is it will you be able to get past the disappointment? I guess uh, tomorrow and, and look back and think, you know what, there, there's some good. Uh, no, not there. really. To be honest with you, no, because I want to win. Mm. I'm not doing like I say. I just had a go at my players there. Performance very good. Everybody, I think, who went to the game say, yeah, performance was very very good, but. It's only one point because we haven't been clinical and we give a rubbish goal away. So at worst case scenario, we would come off with a one nil, and and you know we score the second goal. Certainly uh, makes it more difficult night for Wigan. Ollie Clark came <coughs> off at uh, half time. You had heard reports that there was a bit of argy bargy in the tunnel. Anything in that? Nah, listen, there was a bit of a fracas, motions, tight tunnel. It's good to see, isn't it? Players caring. They play. They I mean they've already won promotion and their players are caring. So but there's nothing, nothing to it. Just a bit of pushing and shoving. A lot of kissing and cuddling. Was that just an attempt to calm the situation down, taking him off then? Oh, I tried to get me kiss, kiss one of his sons. No, <laughs> it, was just, it was just less in his football. That's what it is. It's a passionate game, passionate people. Both teams care a lot. And uh, sometimes tempers can flare, but there's nothing warranting a red card or anything ridiculous, really. Just a lot of pushing and shoving. Mm. Uh, nice to see Liam go back and, uh, and he took his goal beautifully. Yeah, I know. It's, it's good to get your better players on the pitch and certainly makes a, makes a difference. We've been probably last couple of months probably been the worst injury injuries I've had to, to key personnel since I've been here. To be honest, with you. I can't remember him ever being so bad. But we thought we you know it's three draws in the last four games could have been a bit more. And, and, you know we, we've got areas of this squad we've got to strengthen and, and try and have a good campaign next season after these two games. Yeah, but it shows you that you can compete with with the best in this division. If we can compete. I've said it to everybody. We give a game to anybody. No no two ways about that. And we got to, but we got to be both boxers more more clinical. And you said um, pretty much about um, Lee Brown back in the uh, Lee Brown's last game Saturday for the football club. Last game, he's uh, he's had a lot of personal issues, family problems this season. Saturday we'll give him the send off he deserves, and he'll get that. He'll get the armband Saturday. I'm not sure our fans will give him a fantastic reception. One of the players that had different options. Of, to go elsewhere, but fought hard for the club to get back in the league. Model pro in the changing rooms, and he'll he'll go with our best wishes and, and, and no doubt my fans' best wishes after Saturday. So that's a sort of mutual decision between you, is it? He needs to get nearer to his London home, which I totally respect. He's certainly uh, no gripes, no hard feelings whatsoever. I totally understand the reasons. Like I say, I'm not going to go into the personal issues around that, but it, it will be his last game for, for us Saturday. And he has been, you know, he's been Mr. Bristol Rovers over the last what six, seven years. Outstanding, model pro, fantastic character in the change rooms, and like I say, loyalty's not really seen in football in the footballing world. But I think Lee Brown showed that in abundance uh, with the club going going down into the conference, stuck by it, scored a winning goal, that eventually got us promoted as well. So I'm sure he'll get a, a good send off, and like I say, he'll have the he'll have the armband Saturday, and uh, certainly we'll uh, we'll give him a good send off.